38-year-old champion, 33-year-old challenger, Miocic, will have a three-inch reach advantage. To get our main event started, here is Bruce Buffer. All right, gentlemen, this is five rounds, championship fight. I want you guys to obey my commands at all time. Protect yourselves at all time. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. Best luck to both of you. Verdun Miocic for the heavyweight belt. All right, you ready, sir? You ready, sir? Let's go fight. Here we go. White trunks for the challenger, black trunks for the champion. It's been nearly a year layoff for the champion Fabricio Verdun, his last fight in June of 2015. Steve Miocic, much more busy, fought this January of 2016. Will the layoff be a factor? Verdun was scheduled Super Bowl weekend to fight Kane Velasquez. Kane got hurt. Steve was thinking about taking the fight then. Fabricio said, you know what, I want to be 100% healthy. Here we are, Brian, three months later. Right away, you're seeing the kicks of Fabricio Verdun. He can unload with his strikes because he's never concerned about people shooting for takedowns on him. Has no issues being on his back. Second degree Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt. Miocic is very dangerous in the first round. Huge power in his hands, and he's unloading on some of these leg kicks. Man, he turned the hip over nicely, didn't he? He's throwing a lot of feint so far tonight. I like that. Draw out the combinations, make Fabricio Verdun flinch a little bit, then throw your combo. 20 career wins for Verdun, 14 for Miocic, 11 by knockout. Excellent combination there from Verdun. Doubled up his jab, landed a flush right hand. So hard to defend all the strikes, these combinations, because Verdun will throw four, five, six strike combos. Throw four, five, six strike combos. Hard right hand landed on the nose, Verdun. Golden Gloves champion, Stipe Miocic. Obviously, now good in the art of eight limbs with his Muay Thai, but his hands are very, very excellent. And he's throwing them very loose right now and fast. He's so relaxed in there. Huge fight, 45,000 fans. But right now, Stipe looks very composed. Son of Croatian immigrants. of late here in Cleveland, Ohio. It's the second kick the Ochis has checked. And when you get those kicks, when you throw a kick and you hit somebody's shit, it hurts your foot, hurts your leg. Fabricio aggressively attacking. Oh, he got a touch! That's it! When you get those kicks, when you throw a kick and you hit somebody's shit, it hurts your foot, hurts your leg. Fabricio aggressively attacking. Oh, he got a touch! That's it! Hit it! Miocic is the new UFC heavyweight champion! I'm a world champ! I'm a world champ! That's it! Hey! Stipe Miocic saying over and over, I am the world champ. Let's take a look at it. Verdun was coming forward a little sloppy, and Miocic was tagging as he was backing up, and then that right hand, well-timed. We talked about the power early. Well, look how, I mean, how much power you have to have going backwards on your heels to deliver that kind of blow. Ooh, right here. Verdun coming forward, hands down. And just a short right hand sends the champ crashing the canvas. I think Miocic surprised himself. He jumped over the fence screaming, I'm a world champ. <laughs> what a moment.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 47 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world.